Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another amazing video for you guys. So today what we have is some world record Pam gameplay. Now we did have the world record. Uh, we don't have it anymore though, unfortunately. It was only one game above rank 35. We got it. But then we got sniped a couple times, so we're back down here, but we will get it up later on in the season. I'm going to IX Live New York, which is an event where we're going to New York, myself, OG, um, Ash YouTube, David, Ashland, to name a few. Going to be heading down there, and it's going to be super, super fun and exciting. We're going to be spending the weekend there doing various things uh, within the Google Complex and a couple other things. So it's going to be totally awesome. I definitely recommend checking out my Twitter, you know, OG's Twitter, all their Twitters, because it's going to be updated there all the time on the stuff we're doing. It's going to be super, super fun, as well as we're probably going to do a meetup. Um, Ash is a, from around that area, so he's going to do a meetup, and me and OG are going to tag along, be around there. So there is going to be an address. I'll link it down either in the description or a community post later. So if you guys want to show up, I believe it's going to be Saturday at 5 p.m. EST if you're from around the New York area. But anyways, we're just going to be showing some replays of world record Pam gameplay. We're only four days into the season, so I can get her much, much higher. I don't know how high exactly I'm going to go for with Pam. We're going to see how I'm feeling when I'm back from New York, how much I want to play Pam or if I want to try for something else. But anyways, let's hop into these replays and let's show you guys exactly what happened. Okay, so getting into the first game here, let's talk a little bit about how we pushed to rank 35 Pam. So let's just change the camera to on us. OG's a little bit AFK. He was packing for New York uh, tomorrow. But anyways, how we did it. So the first map we grinded was Undermine. It came out on the first day. It's a gem grab map. And Pam usually is a mid on gem. But unfortunately, um, you know, Jean, Piper, Bo, Penny just completely outclasses Pam as of now, even with her buff as a gem mid so it wasn't really that uh usable so we just used pam as a lane pam's actually a really 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 strong lane on that map so i definitely did actually have a pretty easy time using her um so we had that uh the gem grab got us to about 1020 i believe we played a little bit of takedown we didn't do well in takedown now i definitely would recommend pam in takedown but you know i'm just not overly good where i can push 1ks with just people who constantly play solo modes it's just not how i push so instead we did it in Brawl Ball with OG's Frank and with Crying Man's Shelly. Both of them are, are both going for rank 35s as well. So we managed to work things out. It was a little bit hard. We had to do some things like completely change up the map, open some walls with Frank and Shelly. But we managed to figure it out, figure it out and we got to a 1200 uh, Pam. And we got super, super lucky this uh, today because Pam is not very good in a lot of maps. And we got a map that Pam and Frank are excellent in. Uh, you can definitely get countered, but out of all Siege maps that could have came out, we got super, super lucky with this. So we started pushing her in uh, Siege. It didn't take too long. Jet, and you guys can see the other Gene goes down. He is a pro player in Europe. Um, this is actually a really interesting game. So you guys see what I'm doing with Pam. I'm kind of holding down the mid. I'm our main defense. I'm kind of like an offense, but not as much as the other two. Um, so it's currently 5-2. to two. We obviously need to win this because their last bot would be big. So we are going off over here. Jenton does have super, so Jenton should be pulling OG. He's taking a little bit of a while. Safari is losing that lane. Jenton does pull OG, but OG's able to get a kill because he doesn't go into the bot area. He's going to pick up uh, a bolt. We had one. I'm going to pick up this final bolt, which is going to guarantee us the victory. All I have to do is hold on to this, so I stay within my health area. You know, I get it, and that's going to tie the game up. Now, we do have to be a little bit careful, though, because they do have a Penny and a Daryl, which is really, really good for doing damage without the bots. You guys can see Daryl's kind of sneaking down the lane. Safari with a really interesting turret location. Don't really know why he did that. And then the Daryl is going to roll right onto the safe. Do a really good amount of damage. Almost takes the lead, but isn't able to. Safari's going to walk up, get a couple shots off, and that is going to end the first game here. So that was a really interesting first game. It was way too close. And that got us to 12.39. Let's hop into another game and show you guys what happened. So into the next game. This is an amazing game. Now let me tell you guys, Jesse is really meta. Now when I, when I saw the buff to Jesse, I, saw, I thought, you know, Jesse might actually be good, but I really like what they did because Jesse, just like a Shelly or a Spike, but just in a little bit of a different way, is a tank counter. And so her buff is actually really, really good for the current meta because, you know, you got Daryl and Poco and Daryl and uh, Rosa in the meta. And I feel like Jesse's going to do a really good job. I feel like Jesse's really strong. Probably going to be my next rank 35 push, to be honest. But anyways, you guys can see we're just in the middle. Let's follow us. There we go. We're in the middle, kind of just chilling. We don't want to die. We rarely ever die. It's something we really want to avoid because we're kind of just like that constant pressure on our team. So you guys can see we're able to take out the Colt. Also able to take out the Jesse. I'm going to back up over here and go for this Penny. Kind of leave it alone at the end though because our teammate's going to come up. You go for a little bit of side shot damage. Also hurting the Jesse. We're going to be able to take out the Jesse and just kind of walk away to the side over here. 
I'm gonna move our way down. Now they did do 28% of damage uh, through their uh, penny, so we do have to get a really good defense going on here. They don't have the strongest offense. Their Colt does do a ton of damage, but if we can avoid that Colt on the safe, we should be fine, as well as if we can avoid that Jesse getting a really good position. So I'm in a bad spot. I have low HP. We can't really take out this Jesse turret very well. So far he's doing his, you know, his best, but he's not able to do it. So we just need a really good defense over here. OG's able to take out one guy. This Colt's gonna have to back up a little bit because he's low. Me and OG do a really good job at taking this guy over here. OG obviously has a ton of HP, so he's able to body block. And then I just go in and Pam, she deals damage. Like she deals some really serious damage. I'm backing up, doing some good damage. OG's gonna take the rest. They didn't do one single percent to our safe. And we have a four to one lead. So all we have to do is not get bodied in this mid. Safari's gonna go down, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna move more towards the middle even though there's a bolt on that left side because it's important OG's gonna miss his uh, stun over there and this is a really bad position because they have you know obviously the bolt lead um, two people over here I'm able to take out Thomas which was huge and I'm able to as well back off the Colt which is gonna win us the game Safari picks up one final bolt we're gonna get that kill on the Colt and that's gonna give us the win for this game out. This one was really, really close. They almost had us here, so GG's to them. They have a really, really good comp. If Colt's hitting his shots with this comp, it's over. There's no way you're winning with the current meta how it is now. I'm really interested to see how uh, how good Jesse is when it gets into a pro's hands, because we don't really know yet. But anyways, that is going to end this game. Another really, really, really good game, which actually got us the rank 35. Let's hop into the next game and show you guys what happened. So here's another game. We're going to be going up against Johnny Boy. You guys know Johnny Boy. Really, really strong Colt. Amazing player. Um, I'm pretty sure he's just solo queuing, though. If he had a team, it definitely would have been a big, big challenge for us. So they got a tick, which is obviously good. And then an M's. Um, so obviously, I'm going to go to the mid. Safari's also going to go to the mid. We're catching some clips right there from Johnny. He's going to be able to take us out. One of the best counters to Pam is a Colt. And OG's not even shooting. He's kind of just running in the middle, trying to juke his way to get bolts. Um, he's going to go down here, but he gets fairly counter. You know, he got some shots off, so that's really good. We're going to get that first uh, bot. Not, none of it thanks to me. And, you know, we're going to do a really good job moving up. Let's go back on following us. So we're going to move up over here. Doing a fairly good job. Gonna be able to take out that M's with our spray. Gonna move up over here. It's pretty crucial on our pushes that OG gets his super. He's not gonna get it, but that's fine. We got a sit. We got that turret on safe. It's really important that I keep it alive, so I kept it up over there. And you guys can just see the bot's doing work. The turret's doing work. It takes two more shots. One more shot. They take it out, and that is going to end the game. So that was a really good game for us. We did fantastic. Safari with the star player, definitely well deserved. Let's hop into the next game, which will be the final game that we show, which was my most recent game. Let's get into it and show you guys what happened. Okay, so here we go into the final game, and we're going to be facing a Piper, a Gene, and a Jesse. So a really good, uh, you know, just a strong team comp overall. Gene is my favorite brawler in Heist, or in Siege 100%, because you can just pull into this area and kind of just carry on your own. Anyways, it's going to be really interesting, because there's a lot of mids, and then kind of just like OG, kind of just chilling there. Um, But we're doing pretty good. The Gene probably should have pulled me over there. He was a little bit passive, decided not to. Uh, I'm just going to kind of spray and keep my distance because obviously I don't want to go down. Piper over there on the right side doing a good job. Gene gets a little bit too close to OG. OG almost gets a kill. Wasn't able to. He's going to get dragged into the uh, siege over there and go down. Safari gets a good shot over there. Kills two people with one shot. So the game is looking really, really good for us. Their Piper is going to go down. See, uh, we put the Penny turret in a good location. Now we're just going off. I'm going to try and stay alive here. I was going to put my turret over there, but it wasn't really needed. I was going to throw it where OG was, but it would bait out OG. So OG's going to get a quick super over there. Looking really good. I'm defending myself with my turret. Um, and I'm just going to continue to spray along. We have a pretty good lead over here. Doing fairly well. OG's going to be able to pick up that kill. And he's doing really, really well. We're able to get uh, the kill over there on the Jesse. And that just about seals it. They don't really have amazing defense. The only thing they could really do is... Um, with, is with their Jesse turret and then a gene pull, but you know, that's not that much damage. You guys can see the Piper's trying to get some shots off at the start. Not gonna do much though. They don't really have anything to do. All three of us have super, so it's looking really good. OG is gonna have a hard time with that turret, but eventually he's gonna be able to get it. We got the Penny, uh, Penny turret set, Frank super, and that's gonna end the game. So we do get the rank 35 and world record Frank. Um, or sorry, not Frank, Pam. It did definitely take a while, but it was definitely worth it. Only four days into the season, which I believe is the fastest in a season to get a world record. Not sure on that, but with all of them ranked 35, I believe it is. So anyways, shoutouts to OG and to Crying Man, as well as La Safari for being my teammates. Mainly throughout the season was really, really good grind. 
Not done yet, though. We're going to hop over to New York. And when we're back, you know, we're going to see how high we can get Pam. Probably not anything crazy, but it's probably going to be a world record that I can sustain. So why not? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. That is going to be it for today. I'm in New York at this time. So I will catch you guys hopefully again tomorrow. I should be able to. I will see you guys then. Peace.